today I'm going to be showing you this really really cool um, prediction card trick so the way you would do this is you could write something on a sheet of paper or you could have you know the prediction that you you know pre-selected already in your phone and then you just kind of leave that on the screen or leave it on the table so somebody can see it so I do have my prediction is on my phone in the notes but I'm just not going to leave it out there because I kind of want it to look nice and red and aesthetically pleasing. So just believe me when I do the tutorial, you'll see that I wasn't cheating. But and essentially, here's how it works. You take the deck and you shuffle it up. And what you do is you show the spectator you're essentially just going to be mixing up the deck a whole bunch back and forth. And eventually what you're going to do is get them to uh, tell you when to stop a few times, mixing the deck up just kind of like how I showed you. The deck should already be kind of um, in a mess right now. But what you want to do is tell the spectators now this time I just want you to go ahead and you're gonna tell me a few times when to stop I'm gonna flip over the deck make it a huge mess and the first face down card that we come to I'm telling you right now it's gonna be the, uh, the two of spades right so that's my that's my prediction off the bat so like I said before you could either have that written down or you guess you could say it right now and say you know what I, I guarantee you you'll stop at uh, the two of spades so let's go ahead you tell the spectator you know say stop whenever you like they say stop say so you flip the deck over Okay, go and just tell me when to stop again. So you flip the deck over again. All right, go ahead and tell me another time you want me to stop. Okay, you say stop here. We'll flip the deck over again. Say stop whenever you want. And they say, let's say they were to say stop here. Now the first face down card we're going to come to, guys, is going to be. So there's the first face down card, and it should be the two of spades, just as I predicted. So here is the two of spades. So if you guys want to learn how to do this super, super cool card trick, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the trick. Um, it's super, it's really simple. Um, it is more of a card force than I would say a trick, but you can kind of turn it into a trick. Um, just it's, it's very similar to, I guess you could say, the slip force in the way where you just kind of, all you need to know is the top card and the spectators to stop whenever and eventually they just say stop and you know, it's going to be the top card. So that is the big secret. Um, and the patter is whatever you want to do. I mean, you could do what I did where you could just, you know, really casually mix up the deck. And then before you actually start flipping over the packets, you tell the spectator, okay, uh, I'm telling you right now, your card is going to be the two of spades. So you could do something really casual or you could have the, you know, the prediction on a piece of paper or something. But anyways, here's how it is going to work. So what you would do is you could start off the, the trick by going up to the spectator and just kind of, you know, messing around with them and just kind of showing them that you're going to mix up the deck a whole bunch. And that's pretty much the whole premise of the trick. So you can start off with the packets already messed up, right? So that's kind of the whole pattern. You just show them that you're mixing up the deck and you don't care. Essentially what you do is before you do that, you can maybe spray the cards or something or just make sure they're bent so when they're back to back, you, there's an easy break. Um, so to start off the trick, you essentially pull off 10 cards or so, flip the deck over, and then what you have to do is riffle further down. So there's the break right there of the first packet. You have to riffle further down, flip there, and there's another break again. You see the cards are still just back to back and you riffle further down. And as you guys can see, that break just moves further and further down the deck. And then the moment you grab it from here, it's going to be really easy. You don't have to look at it. You can just pick it up naturally from the break, flip this back over, and the deck is magically back together. So that's a really simple thing that, that people aren't going to pick up on if you only do it maybe one time or so. So essentially, you have the top card memorized, in this case, the Jack of Diamonds. You say, okay, go and just you know tell me when to stop a few times, and we're going to mix up the deck. And at this point, you should kind of um, emphasize to the spectators that the deck is already kind of mixed up already. So... When, you, when you're riffling down the cards, you maybe shouldn't you know, show them too much of the deck. So what you do is you riffle down very slowly the first you know, 10 cards or so. They say stop. You flip it over. Same thing. You don't want to riffle and they say stop and you're not below the break because then the trick's going to be messed up. So make sure you start your riffle below. You say, okay, tell me when to stop again. You flip it over a little bit lower. Make sure. When you say, okay, tell me when to stop, you are now still, you have to be below that break right there because like I said before if you if they say stop here and you're not below that break you've ruined the trick so just make sure you just keep going deeper and deeper into the deck they say stop and you want to make sure that you say stop four times so let's go ahead and I don't know where that see look there's a jack of diamonds that's face up so if you want it on top the trick is one flip it over two flip it over three and then you're going to be all the way down to the bottom, and they say stop, you flip it over. So it has to be four times, and then the jack of diamonds, the top card, will be face up. And now when you're spreading the deck, obviously, 
kind of goes slow. I mean, the spectators are going to be thinking that the cards are going to be like face down, face up, face down. You know what I'm saying? So when you spread the cards, don't spread too much further back from here. Because if they notice the deck is just back and forth like this, they, they, they might not think too much of it. So make sure you kind of conceal that when you spread the deck open. Show them just the top card and then take this card out. And then if you want, you can flip over the deck because they are back to back. You should be able to just rearrange the deck just like that because everything is back to back. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the trick. Um, I should be coming out some more videos soon. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.